how you, a renter, can prepare yourself to be a home buyer. First, saving money for a down payment can be both challenging and time consuming. It's crucial to begin this step of the home hunting process early on so that you have enough saved up by the time you are ready to make an offer on your dream home. Generally, you will need to have saved at least 3% of the purchase price of the home. Second, review your credit report. Your FICO score will be used by lenders to decide whether you will be a risk borrower or a safe one. Therefore, one of the most crucial things you can take to become a homeowner is to improve your credit score. Obtaining a copy of your credit report early on will give you plenty of time to check it for mistakes and, if required, to raise a dispute. If you don't already know, it will also provide you with a clear understanding of what your credit score is. For FHA loans and conventional loans, the minimum credit score requirements are around 580 and 620 respectively. Therefore, if you find that yours is lower, you will have time to improve it so that you can be approved for a loan. A higher credit score could also help you score a better interest rate. So, the earlier you work in improving your credit score, the more you could save in the long run. Third, avoid major purchases. Because purchasing a home is expensive, being able to demonstrate your financial ability may help lenders look at you more favorably when you apply for a loan. Lenders generally dislike seeing a flurry of recently large transactions. Try to avoid taking out additional credit and limit large purchases. Fourth, use online mortgage calculators to determine what you can afford. Look at my website, I have one there. Playing around with a mortgage calculator is one of the simplest methods to determine how much you can pay before going through the pre-qualification process. You can use our affordability calculator to plug in information about your income, monthly debts, and down payment information to figure out how much you could realistically afford as well as how much your monthly mortgage payments will be. Fifth, get, get pre-qualified. Getting pre-qualified now can help you determine whether you're genuinely ready to buy if you think you'd like to. It can be less stressful to browse for homes in your price range if you know how much you qualify for or even if you were approved for a loan. A lender will determine how much they are willing to lend you by looking at your income, obligations, assets and other factors during the pre-qualification procedure. You will be given a clear picture of the procedures you need to take to qualify for a loan and whether your lender sees any red flags. This can also help ensure that you have enough time to address any problems before you are ready to become a homeowner. Being qualified will enable to move quickly and make an offer as soon as you find your dream home. It, you will be taken more seriously by agents and sellers if you are pre-qualified because it demonstrates to them that you have the financial ability to purchase of the property you are making an offer on. My name is Andrea Bilesman, your local realtor. If you want to know anything about real estate, follow me in all my social medias. Or if you need any help to buy or sell a house, DM me. Let's talk.